I'm Madeline Harvey, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It has been so wonderful to hear from so many of you guys making your requests, that I take a look at so many new artists and experience new music. So today, we're going to be taking a look at Ginger singing Pisces by Napalm Records. Here we go. I love it. I'll be a friend of mine, swallows, suffering with smile. I drew a tear from infirmity with unconditional loyalty. Ego heart, they can be because I'm still. How groovy this is. It's feeling very Pisces like, very dreamy, very edgy. There's so many sounds. Okay, so started out Pisces and then flung into full on Scorpio. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Oh my gosh. Now I feel like the joke is on me because I know you guys knew that that was coming. Mm. But oh gosh. First of all, mm, love it. I, I just, you cannot judge a book by its cover. Now she looks really edgy. She looks like, she looks tough. She looks tough. But to channel, to channel that almost like demonic kind of sound is so far beyond, um, beyond expectation. It's shock. It's awe. It's full on commitment. Like she's not holding back. She's committed to, She's committed in every sense, like the way that she forms her words and then the way she moves her hands. It's like every, it's like she takes on that character. She embodies that, that devil kind of sound. And it's, 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 it's really, really, really cool to just to see that contrast so far with the way that she begins it. And then the fling into that, like, Again, like almost like it's it's beautiful, like an exorcism. <laughs> it grabs you right in the solar plexus and just it's so exciting and it's so exhilarating. Now, technically, technically speaking, there's there's so much space in her throat. There's so much of a modification of the entire vocal tract. This is all being done inside of her throat and inside of her larynx. Now, if we build off the coordination of, let's say, the vocal fry, if we go, which is kind of like the mother coordination of the scream of this, you'll notice that the energy level on that is so slow. So really, really, really slow. So you build from there and you're working with air pressure. You're working with like a back pressure. Now, what's really, really, really cool about the way that she manages her sound is that there is a lot of space. There is a, 
masterfulness about how she's moving the air pressure. She's keeping that, that air pressure concentrated in her throat and in her mouth so that when she does that, it like releases, releases a lot of the air pressure for maximum impact. It's not, when you do screaming like this, you don't just shove a bunch of air out of your mouth as, as we would scream if we were yelling at someone across the street. It's, it's how you coordinate it, it's how you set it up. And it's based off of space and keeping the energy really, really, really low to start and slowly turning that nervous system back up from there. If you watch, she also keeps her shoulder sort of back. And she does that, she does that to give her maximum amount of support from the diaphragm, but also to ensure that she doesn't, she doesn't collapse inside of the throat. That was so exciting, so exciting to hear. I think I peed my pants a little bit, but that was so amazing. So let's give a listen to a little bit. I'll hold on to my hat now that I know it's coming. Oh, and again, so clean right out of that. me girl I want to be scared by you yeah intense opened those shoulders leaned back kept that it's all about resistance now the idea of resistance is let's say you contract the diaphragm which sets into motion a flow of airflow going through the body through the vocal tract and out through your resonators now when you have resistance it means you're going to create a counterweight so in essence, you're going to hold some of that air back. Now, this is where she's opening up her shoulders, really anchoring herself in her hips, almost like, like she's, she's ready to be tackled. She's going to keep her body as stable as possible, have an intensity about the way that she lifts her, di uh, her diaphragm, and then she resists it again here, like, uh, uh, like holding some of that back. It's so... <sighs> It's like I said, it's, it's beautiful like an exorcism, and I, and I just really enjoy being scared by her. something in terms of a modification whether it's an echo effect or a slight distortion in the mic itself or maybe on the pedal that gives it a lot of that Pisian, Neptune, uh, illusion, dreamy aspect too and I really like exactly when she puts that in. It's like she's really clean and then she adds that distortion through the pedal or like on the mic and it gives it that dreamy and then she goes into that Zozo voice. <laughs> Oh my word! 
that voice, and then a really beautiful, coordinated, compressed resonance right after. Very, very, very clean. And on a dime, made that transition. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, Agent, those abs, very good. Oh, okay, that's that's okay. That's really, really, really memorable. <laughs> Again, she's in charge. She's absolutely the boss, the boss of the moment. Like the way that again, you see this a lot in in rock and metal and screaming vocalists because so much of it requires such an intense commitment with the body. So the way that she has opened up her stance, everything goes down. She leans down into the ground instead of up into her body. She understands the nature of air pressure and like the dynamic of using pressure in her body. And she knows that if she does not open her body up, like a very Captain Marvel-esque, and lean like down into the ground for what she needs, that everything's just going to collapse. Everything's going to collapse and her vocal tract will also collapse as well. So, so impressed. Like every single, guys, you guys are insane. I love, I, first of all, I love that this art exists. I love, I love that people are exploring what can be done with voice, but make no mistake, screaming is, is, an, is an art that starts in a very small sound. That vocal fry sound is the basis for that. And that's an incredibly slow, that's an incredibly low impact, meaning you're gonna turn that nervous system all the way down. Like, I'm so tired. And then you're gonna build it from there, build it from there. But the amount of core tension, the amount of air pressure, just she's in control of every molecule of her air. That was so exciting. It's so exciting. I love a good dangerous sound. And I love, I actually really enjoyed being like, creeped out by her. <laughs> really, really, really enjoyed it. I think she is, is a boss. I thought that was wonderful. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for making this recommendation. I'm a really big fan. I'll be fan, and I will watch this again. Yes. That's your bottom dollar. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I'd love to see you here as often as you'd love to be here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.